Right, we have our first request. I've been asked to talk about the Andy Gray sexism case thing. And, yeah, uh, my views on that are kind of simple, really. If you were to record everything every presenter th actually personally thought when they weren't on air, you'd be surprised, I think. Personally, I'm surprised the worst thing they could get out of him is a sexist remark. Uh, what if they... What, what if, like, a news reporter is, I don't know, out with, uh, with his girlfriend at a restaurant and someone sitting there with a tape recorder and catches him and say, God, I hate Germans, they're always so angry. You know, something stereotypical like that. If they're going this over the top with Andy Gray being sexist, imagine what they're going to do with racism. I think everyone's allowed their own opinions outside of the, like, you know, in their own private space. Anything he says which isn't part of his broadcast shouldn't be counted towards his personality. I mean, I'd understand it if he actually tried to get the woman removed, but you know, he was just having a chuckle with her mate. I'm not, well, I don't believe the fact that just because News Corp owns the world and Rupert Murdoch's becoming Elliot Carter off Tomorrow Never Dies, and that's the reason why all the newspapers are pointing at Andy Gray. I don't believe that in the slightest. Though my first name is James, so if anyone wants me to go to Rupert Murdoch's secret submarine in the middle of the China Sea, I will go there and end him. You know, with like, a watch that sets off bombs, except because I'm cooler than James Bond, my watch would be of course be a pocket watch, because, you know, I'm awesome and stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I was also told to end with the word pineapples. So this has been James Hunt, your guide on uh, crazy paranoia and tropical fruit.